<clears throat> Shalom. Honor your praise, honor glory to you. Hallelujah. Shem ha shai, ba shem ha kakadash. And double honor to the elders and apostles of great mills, Lord, and Tony's truth. And peace, blessing, and salutations to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> and so lucky for my um, out of breath, <laughs> out of breath voice. <clears throat> now and now, I just woke up and found it hard to breathe. <clears throat> But um, as you can see, I got this picture right here, which I took it two minutes ago. <clears throat> and um, look how many charts there are. <clears throat> and there's even a yo, I'm telling you, look at them, man. There's a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> a whole bunch, man. Different sizes, different shapes, man. Look at all these chariots, man. Look at them. Beautiful, man. <clears throat> all these chariots. <clears throat> and I can't even lie to you, this is the most... <clears throat> this is the most I've seen gathered outside my tabernacle. <clears throat> I did used to have pictures where there was loads, but not as much as this. <clears throat> so evidently, man. Evidently. <clears throat> these, these, these are signs, man. <clears throat> These are signs for me, how we worship, how we share them. And um, what we should really think about this. And um, <clears throat> so, <okay. clears throat> yeah, we should be thinking about the wondrous things that how we worship, how we share them. Do for us, man. <clears throat> for example, changing our bodies and taking us from being corruptible to being incorruptible. <clears throat> Which, um, Philippians 3 and 21 it says, Who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to working whereby he is able, he is able even to subdue all things unto himself? <coughs> and she's talking about Yahweh Shaman because he's the one who's coming back. Just 13 and 31. This is the one shall undertake to fight against another, one sea against another, one place against another, one people against another, one realm against another. And going to tell that world realm I means kingdom. <clears throat> so one kingdom versus another. <clears throat> and you can even attribute it to second address six and nine. It makes mention of Esau being the end of an age and Jacob being the beginning of which followeth. <clears throat> so you could essentially say the kingdom of the wicked versus the kingdom of the righteous. <clears throat> <clears throat> and it says, And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sign shall happen which I showed thee before. And yeah, man, the, the, the Lord gave the signs to the prophets, or shall I say, he gave them the understanding of the prophecies. And that's how <clears throat> we measure the times, man. Through the prophecies or the visions that the Lord gave to the other prophets and that they wrote down in the, in, in the Bible, man. <clears throat> and it says, And then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. <clears throat> and yeah, that being Yahweh man. 
as it makes mention in um, Acts 1 and 9. Actually, you know, let me start at 8. It says, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come, up, come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and unto the almost parts of the earth. <coughs> and God, I remember, man. The prophets have been scattered all over the earth, the majority of them being in um in America. But um, yeah, there's other prophets that are in different countries, man. <coughs> Okay, I need to get some water, man. says and we had when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received them out of their sight <clears throat> basically going into he went in a vehicle or a chariot and the same way he left as how's coming back that's why it makes mention what it mentions in Revelation 1 and 7 and carrying on, it says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, being two angels, man. <clears throat> Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner, as ye have seen him go into heaven. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> yeah, let me get Revelation on. One seven and it says, Behold, it cometh with clouds. And going back to that picture, man. <clears throat> going back to that picture. <clears throat> These are the clouds that it's talking about, man. The, the chariots. <clears throat> Look at them. Little clusters of chariots, just wow, well, there's you know, I don't know how many there are, and this was just one part <clears throat> of um, this is just one part of the um, the sky. <laughs> <clears throat> like I said, behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. <clears throat> Basically, meaning. Everyone going to see the Lord's transportation. They're going to see <clears throat> his vehicle, man. In today's age, they would call it a spaceship. <clears throat> and it says, And they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so are man. So, yeah, man, when the Lord comes back, he's coming back to execute judgment. <clears throat> and make war and he's gonna make war with these other nations man and they're gonna fight him and he's gonna beat them man he's gonna overthrow them <coughs> and going into that word wail it means to cry out with grief and while while the nations cry out with grief because the lord's coming back to execute judgment man revelation 19 and it started at 11 it says and i saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. <clears throat> this being the first of the line of the sons of God. Being Yahweh Shalman. And in righteousness. And you, and you see. In righteousness. <clears throat> so what the Lord Yahweh Shai is doing is righteous. Man. The Lord is executing righteous judgment. <clears throat> so like he says in righteousness he doeth judge and make war. <clears throat> And that's exactly what it's going to do, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
なりますね。だけ<笑> is, is that right? <coughs> yeah, here it is. Zechariah 5 and 1. It said, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. <coughs> This being a chariot, man. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth of ten cubits. <clears throat> Then said he unto me, This is the curse that go forth of the face of the whole earth. And like Revelation 1 and 7 said, Every eye shall see. And the reason every eye is going to be able to see him is because <clears throat> the Lord's chariot is going to be. Massive man, it's gonna cover the whole face of the entire earth. <clears throat> and just for everyone that sees, shall be cut off as on that side according to it, and everyone that saw it shall be cut off as on that side according to it. <clears throat> and that description made mention, man, Revelation 1 and 7. All kings of the earth are going well because of him. Why? Because when the Lord comes back, he's going to execute judgment, man, righteous judgment at that. <clears throat> And I'm going to 2nd and just 13. <clears throat> <clears throat> and verse 6. It says, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain, and flew upon it. <clears throat> <clears throat> and this is talking about Yahweh Shaiman and his vehicle. And like Ezra or Ezra said, a great mountain. Which a mountain is massive, man. Have you seen how big mountains are? They're, they're massive. <clears throat> Which lets us know the Lord's vehicle or his aircraft is very, very large. <clears throat> and he said, But I would have seen the regional place where the hill was graven, and I could not. So he couldn't see the beginning or the end of the Lord's um, chariot, man. Why? Because it was so big. <clears throat> <clears throat> and also, let's get that scripture where um, it made mention of the Lord basically, um, he does judge and make war. Isaiah, <clears throat> and to be honest, this is just me rolling and rolling in the spirit, like. <laughs> I wanted to do a lesson. <coughs> Decided to take a picture, and from there it stemmed to this. <coughs> I say 66 and 15. <coughs> it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with his, with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by sword the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. <coughs> And yeah, man, the, the Lord has vehicles, man. And so, and so do the other angels. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms 68 and 17. It said, The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord, Yahweh Shah, is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. <clears throat> and you gotta remember, man, the Lord spoke by the mouth of all his holy prophets and has multiplied visions and has caused them to use similitudes, which a similitude is basically describing something <clears throat> with the vocabulary yeah, they, they had back then. <clears throat> For example, what was a chariot back then in their times? It was a form of transportation, a vehicle. <clears throat> you know what, let, let me actually get that as well. <clears throat> Hosea 12 and 10, it says, I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions, 
and use similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. <clears throat> you see what? <laughs> you see that was that was that's my ex. And I was telling my cousin. <clears throat> I was telling my cousin, man. She knows who she is, man. <laughs> that that <clears throat> these women that was once with me. They they're all coming back. Bruh, even even this one Elamite. <clears throat> I wanna say Elamite, I mean a Pakistani woman. She literally wants to get married to me. And I'm I'm not talking about some Oh, go go to the to to the government office and <clears throat> get some piece of paper and, and write on it. Now nah, I'm talking about some big Pakistani wedding. Yo, nah, man, I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. <clears throat> You're crazy. And the reason why I can't do it is because Yahweh Bashim Shai is <clears throat> is top priority. Nothing comes over your how about some house shy and no woman does. <clears throat> and I'm never ever gonna put a woman before the Lord. No, I'm gonna rather serve you how about some house shy and be by myself. <clears throat> I wanna say be by myself, I mean not not having um attention from women man. <clears throat> but yeah, let's carry on. <clears throat> Verse seventeen it says <clears throat> the chariots of God are twenty thousand. And like I said, the Lord spoke by the ministry of the prophets or the mouth of the prophets using similitudes. <clears throat> so obviously, like I said, back then, a chariot back then would be a vehicle. So eventually you could actually read verse 17 like this. The vehicles of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. <clears throat> so yeah, man, the Lord has vehicles, <clears throat> which are these chariots, man. And just like the picture I showed you, man, they're, they're the vehicles of God. <clears throat> and the angels are inside them, man. <clears throat> Ezekiel 1 and 19. It says, and when the living creatures went, <coughs> the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. <coughs> and these are talking about them chariots, man, or them so-called flying saucers. The angels are inside them, man. <coughs> and it says, whether so the spirit was to go, being the angel, they went whether the spirit was to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. <clears throat> and just like it also makes mention up here, verse 5, it says, Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, being a creature. And remember, a creature is something that's been created. And who has created the angels? Yehovah <clears throat> Shem It says, And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. <clears throat> and if you was to look at it back then, they would have the appearance of one of the sons of God. Or you could say, in today's age, an Israelite. And just like, um, was it in Vegas? Where the um, angel visited the, the brothers? He was basically behind them in a bush. <clears throat> And he was there, waiting, and said the same, said the name of the father and son. And then he saluted, and then went on his way. He had the appearance of a, um, of a Judite man. <clears throat> and there's more examples. Um, let me get this as well. Psalms. Psalms. <clears throat> Psalms 104 and 4. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> Let me start with one. 
I said, bless the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem al Shai, O my soul. O Yahweh, Hashem al Shai, my power. Thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. <clears throat> who coverest thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretcheth out the heavens like a curtain. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters. Who maketh the clouds his chariot. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. Who maketh his angel spirits. His ministers a flaming fire. <clears throat> so yeah man. Those spirits that were the, those um, creatures, those living creatures, being the angels. <clears throat> like you said, the spirit of the, the living creature was in the wheels. So the angels were in the chariot, man. They were in the vehicles. <clears throat> and also, let's get this as well. Um, I knew I would have spelled it wrong, man. <clears throat> I need to find it somehow. Um, I know it's in the book of Tobit. One of the seven... Here we go. So like I was making mention, when the angel of the Lord come down from the heavens and they come up on the earth, they take the likeness of a man. <clears throat> or you could say they take the likeness of an Israelite man or one of the sons of God. And here's an example, probably 12 and 15. It says, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. And it says, they were both troubled and fell upon their faces for they feared. <clears throat> and Muslims will say that they were praying. The, the reason why they, they fell off on their faces was, was them showing reverence. <clears throat> and it says, But he said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Praise Yahweh therefore. It says, For not of any favour of mine, but by the will of our power I came. <clears throat> Wherefore, praise him forever. And yeah, man, we're going to be praising Yahweh, but Shem Shai forever, man. <laughs> the Lord Yahweh liveth forever. Yahweh Shai liveth forever. And soon our bodies are going to be changed and we're going to live forever. And we're going to glorify in the, in the Holy One of Israel, man. And His Son forever and ever, even ever and ever. <laughs> and let's not forget, Yahweh Shai's dominion is everlasting. It's never going to diminish. <clears throat> it's going to prosper. But carrying on. Yeah, verse 19, it says, All these days I did appear unto you. Yeah, and it came as a man. But I did neither eat nor drink, but ye did see a vision. So, <clears throat> the angels don't need to eat nor drink. But in front of them... Um... <coughs> lucky. But in front of them... Um... The two... He basically presented himself as he was like an ordinary man, like a mortal man. <clears throat> he needs to eat and drink. But like he said, <laughs> he wasn't actually doing that. He, he just looked like he was doing that. Like he says, but you did see a vision. And it says, now therefore give the power of being Halbash and Moshai thanks. For I go up <clears throat> to him that sent me. But write all these things which are done in a book. And when they arose, they saw him no more. Yeah, because he, he went back to the Holy One. <clears throat> he went back to his Lord, man. <clears throat> Being Yahweh Bashim Hashem. And it says, Then they confessed the great and wonderful works of Yahweh Bashim Hashem. And how the angel of the Lord had appeared unto them. And, <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> Going back to that picture. This is a this is a wondrous sign, man. A wondrous sign. <clears throat> well yeah, I hope this is edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, glory to you, help us, my share. But Shamakadash and Shalom man. <clears throat>